I was curious, uh, after a loss like that, I mean, what was, you know, what was coach's message to you guys? What was the team's mood in the locker room? Uh, coach's message was just keep our heads up. Um, there's a lot of things that we can improve on. And, uh, it's sad that we had to learn our, uh, learn our lesson this way, but uh, we just got to wake up the next morning and be prepared to work. Um, we got to continue to defend the rebound and defend and always come in ready to play with energy and start the game off stronger than we did. And that'll be there within the next coming games. Well, you, you made a couple of plays where you had one with the, the steal and the dunk and then the other with the three where you cut it close to getting into single digits. Uh, can you talk about those plays, what it was like to make kind of momentum changing plays, but and also like why you guys weren't able to maybe capitalize on them and, and make a run off of that? Uh, whenever you come in a game, you got to be ready to make plays. And um, I just want to come off the bench and supply energy to my team to uh, continue to communicate. And like I said, keep pushing our guys to know that we can still win this game, even though we're behind. We just got to continue to keep our energy up. And so, um, what was the second part of the question? Just why weren't you guys able to capitalize off of that? You know, you cut it to 14 and you cut it to 11, but you weren't able to seem, seem to get into single digits. Um, I guess that's just a result of uh, continuously getting stops. Um, we were trying to string stops together, and sometimes it just wasn't happening. Uh, credit to St. Francis for hitting a, a lot of shots. And also just defensive rebounding, we got to get better at that and keeping the ball in front of us. And then just for us in general, too, uh, I don't think we shot the ball very well tonight. And I think within the next coming games, that'll change because I know we're a team that we uh, that can shoot. And this was just tonight the ball didn't fall in. So just want to continue to tell our guys, keep our heads up and not let one loss define us. William, it, this is obviously, I guess, a difficult and pretty jarring uh, introduction to college basketball. Um, I mean, I, I know the game just ended, but what kind of lessons do you feel like you can kind of take away from this as you sort of start to get acclimated to the college <coughs> game? Uh, one lesson I can take away is that you got to bring it every given night. Um, everybody's beatable. And if you don't come out with energy and sometimes you don't, uh, come out the gates right away. It's hard to come from behind. And also, I take away that uh, intensity and energy is really one of the uh, biggest things that cause basketball. Um, we didn't come out with that much energy. We were kind of flat, and our intensity dropped as uh, St. Francis started to pull away because we got in our uh, we got into ourselves instead of coming together. And so. Um, it's a lot about leaning on your teammates, trusting your coaches, and continuing to uh, just continuing to play together. William, who were you talking to or listening to while you guys were trailing, and who was giving you good advice on the bench, uh, whether it was a player or a coach, and was kind of get, getting your head in the game for you so you could be ready for your moment? Um, honestly, uh, coming off the bench, I was in my, in my own head making sure that I was staying ready and uh, making sure I was ready to come in and make plays and try and benefit the team. Um, also, I had Coach Capel continuing to instill confidence into me, telling me to shoot the ball and make my plays. Uh, also, had Double R telling me um, some opportunities that I had to score and make a pass and stuff like that. So I was just continuing to um, listen to the coaches and the people around me and also uh, keep myself within the game and make plays that I know I can. All right. Thank you, guys. Uh, appreciate that. Thank you.